with meteorologist Christina Rees. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. Taking a peek over the Little Apple, just some puffy clouds overhead, and some of those clouds have really started to bubble up towards downtown Topeka, but it's proven to be yet another toasty one. We're sitting at 94 degrees right now, but once you factor in that dew point at 64, it actually feels like 96 out there. Much of the region sitting in the 90s right now. There are a couple exceptions, one being in Poria at 89 degrees. That also matches Concordia right now. It's 92 for Junction City and a pair of 94s for Council Grove and Manhattan. However, for some, it's more of a dry heat. That includes Concordia and Hiawatha with dew points in the 50s. But when you get dew points in the mid to upper 60s, even at 70 degrees for Burlington, that is more of that stuffy and uncomfortable feeling in the air, and that also makes it feel hot hotter out there as well. That's why our heat index values have much of the region feeling like it's in the 80s or 90s rather, feeling like 98 degrees in Forbes Field, 95 for a real feel in Burlington, and it doesn't feel like 89 in Emporia actually feels like 94 outside right now. But throughout the course of the night tonight into the evening, it will take some time, but we will gradually start to cool things off, falling back into the 60s and 70s, especially by the time you head out the door tomorrow morning to get back to work. But we will not catch so much of a break from the heat just yet for tomorrow. We may end up being a couple degrees cooler, but not by much. I'm still thinking most of us will max out near 90 degrees. But notice that little pocket of cooler air that this model's picking up over Barnes. That's because we do have the chance of some isolated showers and storms to pop up late in the day tomorrow. Through much of the day today, though, we've been mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Starting to switch that up, though, a couple of showers starting to pop up in some of our northeastern areas. The more potent storms, though, have blossomed and fired up well off to our west with this line here. Not really looking at this to impact us. If anything, some isolated cells could branch off and impact some of our western areas later on tonight into the overnight hours. You may run into an isolated shower or storm heading out the door early tomorrow morning. But it really depends as to do we get these isolated uh, showers and storms to pop up, as well as how long does the cloud cover linger on. That will play a factor as to whether or not we get some of these redeveloping isolated showers and storms late in the afternoon into the evening. Not only will those morning storms possibly impact these developing at all, but it could impact the strength of them as well. So it's a little bit iffy on our storm chance for late in the afternoon into the early portion of tomorrow evening. But later on in the evening, especially closer to sunset and beyond, a more promising chance of widespread showers and storms starts to push in from the west. The best chance of some potent gusty winds will be for some of our western areas. Again, this is 9 o'clock, so shortly after sunset and near it, we'll start to see this line push through. But as it pushes off to the east, notice it loses some of its luster. We'll still deal with some torrential downpours and some rumbles of thunder. Most of this will wrap up by daybreak on Wednesday, though. But even so, there is the slight risk for some of our western areas to see some severe weather for tomorrow. But again, the afternoon and early evening, iffy on that isolated chance. Some isolated rain chances for tonight. Under, otherwise, we are partly cloudy as we fall to a low of 70 degrees. And if you got the pool ready this weekend, a great day to jump into it tomorrow. As long as there aren't storms nearby, it will be another warm one, calling for a high of 92 here in the capital city. A look at your seven-day forecast shows we hold on to the 90s for the most part through the next few days with some minor rain chances. Best chance of more of a cool down holds off until the start of next week when we get back into the 80s at least. But this is unseasonably 